Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about my journey throughout CRNA school. So today's video is going to be a semester eight, week eight update. If you guys are interested, let's get into the nitty gritty. So the last time I updated you guys was in semester seven. Toward the end, I maybe had two weeks left in the semester and I was at a clinical site that I felt like was giving me a lot of autonomy. I felt like I had gained a lot of confidence. I felt overall happy um, about you know the growth that I had gotten from that clinical site and then I was gonna be going to the first clinical site that I had done my first eight months at. So now I've been here for about eight weeks and my first four weeks I was in uh, the main OR doing uh, bread and butter cases, you know, just kind of getting back in the swing of working at that site again. And then I finished out my cardiovascular rotation um, last week i finished four weeks in the cbor and doing open heart and things like that and now i started my ob rotation so let me kind of catch up to speed on how i've been feeling since uh rotating back to this clinical site so being back at this clinical site has kind of felt like a little piece of home i guess because that's where i felt really familiar and like everything just felt comfortable to me because I just knew where everything was. I knew how to stock the room, like just how the flow was in general. So coming back to this clinical site wasn't really uh, much of a transition. And um, this place is always one-to-one, -one, one CRNA per one student. So it's kind of given me a little, um, what's the word I want to use? Like kind of like relax in my soul because in the event that there is something going on. Sometimes in that other clinical site where we were two to one, if I needed them, there was times where they were kind of tied up in the other room. So I'd have to call another provider. So, you know, that kind of like, oh, okay, let me call someone else. Like it kind of would give you a little bit of anxiety in this place. At least, you know, there's somebody there always uh, available for you. They do step out of the room. They do give me the time to do, um, things on my own. Um, they kind of do give me more of a structured plan. Like if this happens, do this, if this happens, do that. So it's kind of like, uh, not as, um, autonomous as I'd like, but at least I still get the, you know, the practice of doing this on my own. And, um, it's been great. Um, the CBOR rotation was awesome. I did, uh, four weeks. Um, I did like a micro rotation last November where I did two weeks in the CBOR just doing open heart. I had some lungs as well. Um, this one was, was, uh, was good, was good. I got all my central line numbers and I just felt overall good about it. I, I, I really do like doing central lines and suturing them and doing a lines. I, I felt like this rotation, I got a lot of a lines compared to, um, when you're in the main OR, sometimes they come few and far between, and now you have the EV1000. So there's opportunities to be had to do A lines in the CBOR. Um, so that was great. I, I, I think I'm still missing 10 more A lines, which is fine because I have, what is it, like six more months of school, and I think I'll be, I think I'll be able to get them all. But yeah, so pretty much every patient in these cases get an A line. So um, I was able to do that and. Um, yeah, I enjoyed the VOR. I don't think that that's something that is really important for my practice. The hospital that I'm going to be working at, they did mention to me that that is one of the only places that they don't have CRNAs, and it's really fine. <laughs> it's fine for me. Like um, when the patients are on bypass, it kind of has a little lull, and like I don't know, it's not essentially something that I absolutely need. I do like the central line aspect, but I'm willing to do away with it um, because those cases aren't like something that I absolutely, absolutely need to do. But anyway, now I'm in OB. I started my first day today and it was great because I worked in postpartum for a year and a half and I also worked in um, NICU and it's, it's like kind of coming full circle for me because I never did the part where the patients are laboring. So doing the epidurals and the spinals for the C-sections, it was really cool. Like today, I pretty much was a fly on the wall. I told the CRNA, hey, this is my first day here. Like this is different than the main OR. I don't know where anything is over here. So just allow me to be a fly on the wall. I'll help you as much as I can if I can help you. But um, I really just want to watch you and watch the flow. And there was another student there as well, and he was great. He had been there one week, so he was giving me like the rundown, giving me a tour, and it was just awesome. I didn't feel as lost as I think I could have been if I was by myself. Um, 
but yeah, so far I do like it. I don't know if that's something that I would want to do like, oh, I'm, I'm going to be OB and that's it. I think that I would enjoy doing it here and there and then flipping back to the main OR, you know, just like kind of getting a feel for different things. It's definitely fun. It's definitely something that I, I am interested in more than the CVOR for sure. But um, I did have a good day today. Um, I'm back tomorrow, so we'll see. But uh, let me think now as far as school stuff. So the last I updated you guys on the school stuff, the capstone project. So we have two classes in the back burner. We have that we we have class on Tuesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, so the first class is our capstone class and we needed IRB approval in order to proceed with doing our research and finishing up our manuscript and all that so that we can get move forward with the project and luckily i was able to get irb approval for my project so now i've actually been trying to fit in some time to do the actual research i thought it would be a much easier process for me because you know once i know what i'm doing i research it do it and kind of knock it out in a day or two but it's a lot like i feel like i have to go through a lot of studies in order to find what i'm looking for specifically and then just kind of like synthesizing all of those papers in order to make something substantial. It's going to be a lot more than I've, I've done in, in the past. So, and especially because this is something that I'm presenting, it's not like I'm just turning a paper in and calling it a day. I have to make a poster presentation and I have to do a PowerPoint presentation. So I want it to be something that I'm passionate about, which I am. And I want it to just be something that I feel good talking about. I don't want to be, you know, doing a presentation on something that's really boring or just overall not well thought out or things like that so i'm really trying to take my time on that but it's hard when you don't have time like i'm literally doing these 40 hour weeks and at the end of the day i'm so exhausted i don't find the time there was one day that i was like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and there was just so many other projects and assignments that i had to do that it it got left for like the last hour of the day and I just really haven't gotten to it. And I'm kind of worried about that because I find that I'm not able to just, you know, put in the time that it needs. And yeah, so that's that for the capstone project. I have my capstone chairperson that I check in with and she's been great. She's like, I'm not going to hound you on anything. Just know that I'm available for you if you need me. And I'm, what I plan on doing is just updating her along the way. As long as like, let's say I make this portion of the paper, I'll send it to her, see what she thinks. But I have yet to do actual like keys to the keyboard and getting it done so that's on me then for the other class it's the clinical practicum class which is the one that we submit our evals and our care plans daily uh, we did have a presentation which i already did and um we do have weekly blueprint blueprint assignments that are given to us from prodigy um so they'll assign some a blueprint that has like a certain heading like let's say renal or uh, fluid and electrolytes and then at the end there's like a quiz so yeah that's what we've been doing weekly and then every four weeks we get like a an exam it's kind of like a mock exam or a practice exam that uh encompasses in encompasses the majority of the things that were covered in those blueprints and some other things kind of like making it uh, a mini c a mini c exam practice so that's been good um they told us that they want us to have the C exam uh, taken by the first month of next semester, which doesn't sound feasible to me. I feel like I'm going to be so um, engulfed in that capstone project that I'm not going to be giving as much time as I need to be studying. Because even though we're doing blueprints weekly and doing mock exams, it doesn't feel like I'm actually sitting down and going over the content like I did when I took the C exam for the third time but for the first round because now we're gonna have to take it again and get a 450 so that I, since i got a 431 on the first time that i needed to take it i really feel like i need to put in extra effort just to hit that you know get it over that hump um so yeah i just don't see how that's feasible but you know now that everything is kind of winding down i have six months left of school i'm like a little bit overwhelmed just because there's still so many things I need to get done. I need to finish my OB rotation. I have my PEDS rotation coming up right after the OB rotation. And then hopefully I'll be at my last clinical site for the last semester. So we'll see. I'm like really burnt out though. Like more burnt out than I've ever been, I think. I, I just feel like I'm not 
as happy as I used to be. It's just like, it's really hard when you're just going through the motions. It's, it's hard when you're broke. <laughs> I think that's the hardest part. Being, being as broke as we are in this program is, is really starting to get to me. And I feel like I need these six months to fly just so that I feel like comfortable getting a paycheck because it's been kind of hard just making ends meet. But it is what it is. We got to get through it. And yeah, so as far as halfway through semester eight, I feel good. I have A's in my classes, just submitting assignments as I need to be, um, working on the capstone in the back burner and just, you know, knocking out my hours, getting my numbers and, and moving forward. So yeah, that's all I have to say for this update. Hopefully I can be better about updating. I know, I know that I have not been um, just been literally so drained, so tired, um, just overall exhausted. But yep, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.